All right, welcome back everybody. I'm Vince Del Monte and we've got a hot question on creatine today. Slight variation from the other creatine questions we've got. So this one's from Matt Gillis. He says, true or false, creatine only adds water to your muscle and doesn't build lean muscle mass. True to the first part, part false to the other part. Uh, let me explain this. So creatine is a cell volumizer. It increases the diameter of your cells, your muscle cells, which causes more water storage. This is why people report gains of you know, a few kilos uh, when they start uh, taking uh, creatine, specifically in the loading phase, okay? So when a muscle is hydrated, it's anabolic. You can't build muscle in a dehydrated state. Guys don't get this. Uh, I mean, they might get it in you know, theory, but they don't get it in application. It's impossible to build muscle in a dehydrated state. It's not a sexy thing to talk about, so guys don't give it a lot of attention. And uh, the kind of inside joke in the supplement industry is that most, most of the reasons pre-workouts work is because guys are just taking an extra two cups of water a day with their pre-workout, so now they're just more hydrated. <laughs> so they're like, oh, it's the pre-workout. But no, it's just because you had two extra cups of water today. Um, you're more hydrated, makes you more anabolic. So. Uh, what you want to know about creatine mainly is that it is a must-have supplement. Uh, it is the single supplement. It is one of the most, it's probably one of the, there's a lot of proven supplements, but more than anything else, it's got more convincing scientific research than anything else. The only people I don't recommend creatine for are endurance athletes who have to stay lean and light and um, who, who need to keep an eye on their weight gain. So uh, for everybody else, specifically, um, people that are doing weight training or anything with that requires high, uh, short but very quick bursts of um, energy output will benefit from supplementing with creatine in, in, in some type of form. Now, the way that creatine, theoretically creatine increases lean muscle mass if you define lean muscle mass by fat-free mass. But what most guys are after is dry muscle. And dry muscle is what, uh, what, we're really, what really, really makes your body look dramatically different. Um, so how it does increase lean muscle mass is very straightforward. Uh, it's gonna help you contract, it's gonna help you extend your set, it's gonna help you um, get more reps out of a set, use more, add more pounds to the bar, it's gonna increase your overall work capacity, allow you to get more work accomplished uh, within a shorter period of time, which means you're increasing the density of your workout. So by all of these things, creatine is gonna help you gain lean muscle mass. So um, the mechanism is different, but you know, you know, it all kind of works together. That's what you need to understand. So I hope that made sense. All right, thanks so much for the question, Matt. I'm sure that was helpful to a lot of people. For everybody who uses creatine here, I'm curious, give the video a thumbs up. I wanna see how many people are using this supplement. And um, we'll talk about uh, creatine dosages in the next video. All right, talk to you soon.